Kevin Rico from Jumbi Anthony Company. Today, I'm going to show you how to take your Allen and Heath SQ console and use it as a dog controller inside of Logic. In my last video, I showed you how to do this with Pro Tools, and the SQ setup is the exact same. So, in that video, I linked down below. Watch the first three and a half minutes and jump back. Before we jump in and get started, make sure you subscribe to JBA University and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. First thing we have to do is go to the Allen and Heath site and download the MIDI control software. I'm going to put a link down below for you. So you can click there, follow the instructions, download, and install. Once that's done, you're going to run the program. I have it up here. So we're going to select SQ, MIDI channel 2. We're going to select our Mackie control standard protocol to use with Logic. I'm connected over USB to my SQ, so I'm going to select MIDI ports and then pretty much choose my only options. If you're connected over the network port on the back of the SQ, not the Waves or Dante port, you can connect that way as well using the IP address. Now that that's out of the way, let's go and pull up Logic. First thing we have to do is head over to our preferences and go to our advanced tools. I'm going to select MIDI and just make sure that box is checked. Nice and easy. After that, you're going to head over to your control surfaces and do a setup. I'm going to add a new one, click install, and you want to scroll down until you see Mackie Designs, Mackie Control, and Logic Control. Hit add, and then you're going to select Dog Control MIDI 1 for both of these options. Add another. And DAW MIDI 2. Add another. 3. You're starting to get the idea now. And the last one, number 4. So a little rant about this particular setup. This might vary depending on what board you're using. If you're using an SQ7, you could ignore pretty much all of what I'm about to say. But if you're using an SQ5 or an SQ6, you don't have the 32 faders that this is about to set up, at least across one layer. If I'm on an SQ6 and I want to stay on one layer without banking up and down, I might want to delete this fourth one. Or if I'm in an SQ5 and I want to stay on one layer, I might want to delete these last two. In the first video, we used soft seven and soft eight to set up a way to bank up and bank down. So this is gonna let you stay on one layer and toggle between all your channels, even if you go more than 32 channels or however many you have set up for that particular board. So I'm on an SQ6, I wanna stay on one layer. I'm going to delete that fourth one. And another quirky thing about this screen Sometimes you see that the fader bank offset is at zero. You want this to read 8, 16, and then 24 if you still have that fourth one in there. You can quickly fix that just by dragging them up there and moving anything else you might have. Zero, eight, 16. I'm not sure if that's a bug. I'm not sure if it's a logic quirk. I just don't understand, but double check that that fader bank offset is correct. Now that we're done here, we're going to head over to our... MIDI environment, change the layer to clicks and ports, want to add a monitor, and let's move that so you can see it. Just patch all these with our virtual patch cables so that you can see what's going on. Now that that's done, let's take a look at our mixer. I can go and use my SQ to move all of my faders. You can see on the very bottom that I have some colors, and that's to just let you know what you're controlling. If I bank over using soft eight, you can see that that's now moved, and that's something I set up again in the first video. There you go. That's everything you need to do to set up your SQ as a DAW controller for Logic. If you found this helpful, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to JBA University. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.